Welcome to Temple of Adayoth. An um, enemy force is about to obliterate our settlement. There is nothing we can do, really. Uh, we can corner camp. It's the ancient elf's way of doing survival. Uh, but the odds are not in our favor. And we lack the ranged power to uh, corner camp long enough to uh, make this battle winningly seeing stuff. Mm. It's a pity. If we could reach into that corner, we could fight longer. But that's not what's going to happen. We're going into that corner. Uh, corner camping is usually not the way, but it is right now because we are outnumbered and they appeared out of nowhere. Uh, 180 range, 170. Mm, you should look out for the range. Uh, place the uh, the arches with most range back um, for effectiveness cis reasons. And place the archers with less range in front of them. Okay, we have powerful shielded guys. They're going on the front line. Trees in between. And we have glaive infantry as backup. I mean, this is not looking spectacularly well. Um. <laughs> A lot of beastmen approaching, and mm, there's only a portion of their force. I wonder where the else where the rest is. Maybe they will advance from the west. Maybe Creative Assembly manage to upgrade the AI with a patch. I mean, one can dream. I mean, you might have heard from the meaning, uh, the, the subtext of my words. There's a lot of stuff that I dislike about Creative Assembly's doing. Mm, well, that doesn't mean that I don't like Creative Assembly. I am a very passionate Total War gamer. I've spent hundreds of hours playing Rome and Medieval and Empire and whatever. Mm. And uh, the criticism that I utter is usually on a very high level. It's very... Mm, mm, I'm not go I'm not about to say singular, but it's very focused. I'm focusing on small portions of the game that are not as polished as they could be. And that doesn't mean that the game itself is bad, it's just certain aspects of it could be better if some effort would have been put in. Can you maybe shoot at other people except these boys? I mean, it's a pity that we don't have more um, missiles. We could easily win if we could survive for longer. Oh. Are they are shooting at the general? Oh, they are. I mean, I mean, I'm not complaining too much. If they can kill him, it's fine. Oh boy, there are a lot of people attacking us from the rear. Swiftly! Pretty good. Hmm. 
Nice, the enemy general is already fleeing. Maybe we will win this battle after all. I mean, I don't, I don't think so, but, but, but one might dream. Corner camping is always very effective if you have good archers. And wood elf factions tend to have decent archers. Oh, they have archers themselves. Well, they're not as good. Seriously, we, we might win this. That's interesting. They're actually fleeing. How fast are they? They have speed 36. We have 32. 43. Interesting. So they could reach them. But not with certainty. Well, this is going really very well. Brace for impact, boys. Oh, they are fleeing again. Huh. This is very surprising. Arches forward. Oh boy. Um. Seriously, we might win this. I mean, the problem is we are running out of arrows. Um, and once they realize that, the AI will probably crush us. But we're still alive right now, so... I'm not complaining too much. The problem is they have the numbers. Mm, we do not have the numbers. We just have some pew pew bombing. Pew pew powerful. Potent. Peculiarly Venture force? That doesn't make sense. Hmm, they're fleeing again. I think we're actually going to win this. Huh. That's surprising. And now you people reinforce these lines. Oh boy. Trees edit. <laughs> That's just stomping through. <laughs> okay, good. Get back. This is too dangerous for me. camping. <laughs> it's usually very effective if you have bowmen. Well done, boys. Well done. Yeah, that's heroic. Of course it is. We've deployed... Oh, this is, <laughs> this is a nice number. We've deployed 920 and we've lost 300. They have deployed 2,641 and they lost 1,398. And they have a remaining force, which I'm not going to pronounce. Galak, Blood Gorge, was gorged. Bloody. 
leap uh, and the heralds of Ariel the hands of the you know uh, we know we, we need oh we, we need treasury mm, now we're going to abduct captives claim them for the forest Uh, the Dreaming Wood. A young glade lord, full of hope and naivety, wishes to journey into the Dreaming Wood to recover a lost artifact. Headstrong and confident, perhaps to the point of arrogance. You know, you never know with this pointy-eared peace bill. The Dreaming Wood is a twisted domain ruled by the Prince of Pleasure, Slanish. To enter is to dance with the Chaos God of Madness and Desire. Most who enter never return, claimed body and soul by the forces of ruin. Yet this Glade Lord seems self-assured. Do you allow them to recover this item or forbid the journey? Um, the wit stealer's sword was forged in the molten heat of desire, cooled in a vat of slanish blood. Causes fear and terror. But 15 chaos corruption will lead to civil war. Slish stuff mm. fear and terror out of principle we will have a dragon later so we don't need fear and terror I mean it's nice now but we don't really need it magical attack is nice but how could the wood elves sworn to defend the realm of the mortals Go and allow a crest to work with Slunner. No. The, the end. Of twilight. There they are. And I want to destroy or at least Christ. capture the city. Yes. It will ends. be a glorious battle. They cannot uh, remain occupied. a threat. Yes. Uh, open branches. From all corners of the forest, they come to defend their homes, recruit rank, and global recruitment capacity. Mm, magical reserve, yes. Mm, not now. Bring me Repair. And we need public order. Where is public order? Plus one. Um, zero plus one. Yes. Duty adventure. Uh, they will be obliterated very soon. They made a mistake attacking my city. Burden of the Shadowlands. Mm. Maybe. The shadows come, the day wanes. Are you prepared for dusk? A gift. A small. What? Six? No. What? Creative assembly. Why can't I type in the amount myself? I want to give them a hundred. A small gift. I'm not going. Six hundred is not a small gift. It's almost a tenth of my entirety of treasury. How can be. I'm not going to hmm. join war. Oh, yes, that, that's a very good deal. They will keep them off for 200. That's much more inexpensive than an army. And the... Oh, of course. Hmm. Asrai, Asur and Druki. Adruji. I was going to say Druki. Druji is... No. Carried by elegantly hewn ships. 
Our cousins have travelled from the distant lands of Ulthuan to visit us. After so many long years, they have finally deigned to visit their forest brethren. Is this a gracious visit or an omen of arrogance? Did you consider this a slight or a blessing? Will you grant them an audience with the Elven Council? So we have relations but less public order or we have less relations and more public order. Relations is more important. The end. Samazrai have wandered far from Athalor. An opportunity has arisen that might bring them back into the fold. Go to this location to find out more. Um, we could theoretically confederate. Oh, we don't want that right now. We are not in confederacy territory right now. Hmm. We do, however, want to get Shroktak Mount. Serene Nestra, tempestuous Arahan. Denied. Eleven and four. Hmm. For ambush, the we need 10%. Protects. Oh, okay. 13. Maybe we can ambush them. I may mean, no human player would An be that ambush. stupid How to walk into that trap after he just, well, saw us march in there, but an AI? You never know. Now, I have accepted to deal with you, so our relation should be improving. Oh yes, so next turn we can go for more diplomatic relations. Battle. Uh, annihilate. <laughs> That's very convenient for me. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> the AI is still ridiculously bad. Non-aggressive pact. You know what? That's actually very convenient for us because I don't want war with them. Uh, we still have to get a lot of cities and a hundred is okay. Uh, vaults of winter. Aranok lies under the eternal summer sun, scarcely knowing night. The guest to this mystical and radiant part of the forest have been feasting endlessly, guests, fattening themselves for the coming sacrifice. And many whisper that this time is now, yet the guests could yet continue to feast themselves into a greater state of readiness. What action will you take? Treasury. Uh, Wraith of the Frozen Heart, exile on their own accord from the frosty cage of the win Winter Heart. These Dryads carry the biting chill of their home realm. Uh, winter Head Guards, these noble sons from the high realms of Atheloren practice the art of war with obsession. Okay. Nagaroth reveals its weakness. Uh, challenge to death. Turn time. I really like that, but first we're going for lightning strike. It's just more important if we need to kill. The end. Summons a great eagle. Yes. Finally, a Shrok Tak Mount. End their Keep your filthy hands off! Twin defenders of the glades. Mm. Mm, public order, yes. Itching for fresh battle. Now we need regiments of renown. Mm. Merch. 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 
merch. That's actually the wrong merch. I don't really want to kick them because they have high rank, but okay. Remain calm. Um. Doo -doo. Okay, we're going to merge them, the kick them, and get those. And we have a lot of money in our hands now. Mm. We're going to upgrade the Oak of Ages. Forced health, public order faction wide, growth, untamed. Oh, yes. Oh, there is an event. Hmm. We will have to go there eventually, but we only have one army right now and I can't spare this army for at least two or three rounds. So right now, mm, it's problematic to say the least. Chaos stirs. Storm clouds gather in the north. There are rumors that the barbarous tribes residing in the shadow of chaos have ceased striving against each other for the attention of the dark gods and are instead of banding together. Suckling at the teat of chaos, the hordes grow in strength. It seems only a matter of time before the dam breaks. And a tide of ruin bursts forth to engulf the old world, the old world, corrupting or destroying all in its path. Marshal your strength, nurture the sinews of war, build your walls high. Gather warrior warriors to your banner and temper them in the crucible of battle, so that when the time comes, you may yet weather the storm. Severe. Sever. Ready? Ready? Come on, people. Stop. When do we fight? Only when necessary. And now we're going for challenge to take. Date. Whenever the twins present Lord D with a new challenge, he simply gives a small smile and returns to the fires of the forge. Oh, we have we can get the dragon at level twelve. We already have level 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. The quest will automatically start. Um, uh, can we go and claim that building? Looking that area? Uh, colonize. Defenders of That's the very nice. I mean, we've already seen that even a small town can be very powerful because we have shields and small treemen and a lot of bows and arrows and in combination. Treemen, shields, arrows. You get quite formidable force. Oh, they are raining. Uh... Stop it. People just itching for fresh please stop. Um uh, yes, we need we need public order. The sisters of Twilight. Um Communing with Yeah, we need to advance to the north. Oh, we're when not at we war with Naragond. Oh, our enemies have been destroyed already. That's very convenient. Um, we should mm, be able to. What? Where are our elvish friends? Nagarith. Why can't we trade? with them anymore. Ah, there they are. Not one you approach a dark throne. 
The time is not right. What? Not this time. Rejected? Dude, our improving attitudes towards each other, it's... Why? Ugh. That's not very nice. Mm, no. You're going to stay right where you are. Uh, are you mad? This is the life. What? Just stupid. Or both. This is the price you pay. Strength you know, I, don't, I don't really care. They are dead now. And they've given us um, the level to get our dragon. <sighs> Again? Oh boy. Uh, not in this episode. 